All right, it's time for another math easy solution here to discuss the three prisoners problem. This is basically um, uh, just a pretty good uh, puzzle that I saw from Vsauce's Some Surprising Things video a while ago. But he didn't explain it too well, he just went quickly into it. Uh, you could, you could, uh, I put also the link to the video in the description below, you could see that uh, whenever you want. It's, pre it's pretty cool. So uh, anyways, uh, this problem appeared in Martin Gardner's Mathematical Games column in Scientific American magazine in 1959. And I'll just go over the puzzle right now, and also uh, a pretty uh, straightforward proof of, of it. Uh, so the puzzle, there are three prisoners, A, B, and C, and they're all sentenced to death. The governor has selected one of them to be randomly pardoned. Yeah, so one of them will uh, survive. So the guard knows which one is to be pardoned, but cannot tell who that person is. But prisoner A begs the guard to tell him whether B or C will die. The guard tells him that B dies. And A thinks his probability of surviving went up from one third, because there's three of them, to one half because it is now between him and C, except prisoner A, he goes and tells C, but C reasons that A still has a one in third chance of surviving, but C's chances have actually gone up to two thirds. Now, who is right? Well, in fact, prisoner C is right. And the solution here is um, basically, the, if you write it out, pr prisoner A, he gains no knowledge about himself because he already knows that either B or C will die, so his odds of living stay the same, which is one third. So he knows one of them are gonna die anyway, uh, so it doesn't really help him out anyway. But prisoner C odds increase because if pr prisoner's A odds stay the same, then his must be, well, one minus one third, because uh, prisoner B uh, dies. Well, he knows he's dead, so he's out of the equation. So now this is gonna be 100% probably minus one third, so that's two third i.e. the odds need to add up to 100% and B is out of the equation. Yeah, so his is two third. And uh, basically, uh, prisoner C is right on the money here. And uh, to prove this uh, in a bit more uh, mathematical way, let's look at the odds tree. So if we start off from here's the starting point, and this is, here's one third chance that A lives. And now the same thing with B lives and C lives is all has one third chance right here. So one third, one third. Yeah, so initially uh, everyone has one third chance of living, but now the guard, he can tell guard, and uh, he can tell prisoner A, guard tells A, so basically either B or C die. He probably flips a coin for this one other B or C, because he can't say anything about A, and he can't say who lives. So we can only say one of these two options. Yeah, and, and the guard already knows who will live, he just, he just can't tell it. So if, if we're given that A lives, then the only thing he can tell is that B dies. He can say both things, so he can go B dies. Yeah, so if, if he knows that A lives, he'll just probably just flip a coin, and this is C dies, and, and both here, if he's flipping a coin, that's one half. So it's one half, this is one half. And, but if, if, if the guard knows that B lives, he can only tell A that C dies. And that's, that's the only thing he could say, so that's 100% chance you'll say it if he knows that B lives. And same thing, if C lives, the only thing he could tell A is that uh, B dies right here. Yeah, so now with this odds tree, I'll go in detail when odds tree is in later videos. I haven't covered that yet, but basically if you've already seen this before, so now if you want to see what the odds are that this path happens where A lives and, and A is told that B dies, you'll just multiply these probabilities. So it's going to be one third times it by one half, that equals two, one six. Same thing with this over here, it's going to be one third because they're both one half, so times it by one half. This equals to one six right here. And now this one here, one third times it by, yeah, so if B lives and A is told C dies, this is a 100% chance here. So it's just gonna be one third times one over one. This just equals to one third. And same thing here is this gonna be one third. And I'll just write this as uh, two six right here, just to have the same denominator. 
So two, six right here. Yeah, so now if we're given that guard that tells A that B dies, then we are left with only two scenarios, and that's basically highlighted uh, this path right here. I'll just, I'll just circle this. So this is one right here, A lives and B dies, or C lives and B dies. And as you can see right here by the odds tree, that overall there's a one, one in six chance of this happening versus a two in six chance. So basically C right here of living has, a, has doubled his odds of living versus A, because you're gonna have these two scenarios uh, right here. Except this one is one in six chances, is two in six chance. So if they've doubled it, and uh, since they've doubled it, uh, and we also have now this uh, B living is out of the equation. So B living is out. Yeah, so if he's li uh, yeah, B li living is out of the equation, then we basically cancel this out. And also, uh, s Garda telling A that C dies also out of the equation. So now we have a scenario where this first case is half of this second case. And that's only true if we have, yeah, where we have this first case, probability of A living given that B dies. This has to be one in three. And then the probability of C living given that B dies. Yeah, it has to be double and this equals to two third. And now these all add up to a uh, hundred percent or three out of three. So there you go, basically C living ha it has doubled his odds. And then the chance of A living has remained the same right here. Yeah, and basically to get even more mathematical, this can all be explained by Bayes' theorem, and I'll prove this in later videos, a more concrete proof. Ba basically, Bayes' theorem states that, in, in our case here, the probability of A living, given that B dies, yeah, B dies is equal to probability of A living, uh, multiplied this by probability of yeah probability of uh, B being told that he dies or B dies uh, I mean a being told that B dies given that a lives or th this also means uh, given right here a lives right here and now this this sign right here is equal to given it just means you're told this already and then this is all divided by probability of B die or, or yeah, B dies or, or B is t I mean A is told that B dies so this all equals to now probability of A living initially is just one and three that's just one and three right there when we're given nothing else so one and three now times it by probability of B dies given that A lives that's just this scenario right here because if this lives we only have one and uh, one and two chance that B dies, so then multiply that out. And we divide this out by probability of, P, of uh, B dies, or uh, A is told that B dies. This is just gonna be probability of, again, A living. This is gonna be a combination of, of all of them. A living times it by B dies, give it, given that uh, A lives. And then this is gonna be plus yeah, this is going to be plus probability of uh, C living uh, times this by probability of B dies given that C lives. And, uh, and basically, in other words, what I'm doing right here is basically summing up these probabilities. So the base theorem just means we're going to sum up this case, which we want, divided by all other cases where we are told that B dies, which is going to be... Th basically this plus this case right uh, here. So we will just uh, write that down over here. So this is going to be, this top series is going to be 1 over 6. And that's the same equation. This is 1 third times 1 half. So this is all divided by 1 six. And now this part right here, probability of C living is 1 and th 3. Probability that B dies given that C lives, this is 1 over 1 because if C lives, B has to be, yeah, A is told that B dies, only thing he can say. So right here we have this part right here, if we just add these up, this is two over six. So this is gonna be one over six, this is one over six plus two over six. And that's gonna be three over six. This six you could uh, basically cancels out or you could put it on top. We're gonna have six over six times one over three. 
This equals one and three. Yeah, so basically this is the probability that A lives if we're given that B dies. And then the probability of uh, C living given that B dies is just gonna be, well, one minus one third, that equals two, two thirds. This is gonna be 100% because now uh, B living is out of the equation, there's only two options. So there's, there's the more mathematical way of doing this. Anyways, that's all for today. If you learned from this video, it's a bit out there, but once you get a hold of probability and statistics, it becomes fairly straightforward, even though in, initially it sounds counterintuitive. Anyways, that's all for today. If you learned from this video, remember you can download the notes from these links. I also have in the video links below. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.